<laughs> and then you gotta stop there. <laughs> what was that? I said, I told you I need choreography for all the ins and outs. We gotta help you out with yeah. that. But listen, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. <laughs> he is best known for his role as Bruh Man from the Fifth Flow uh, on Martin. But since that iconic role, our next guest has been on a plethora of other shows <laughs> and is now a stand-up comic. Please welcome down to the circle comedian Reginald Ballard, or as we like to call him, Bruh Man. Everything's good. All right. Everything's good. All right. All right. How is Jones and Christy Love up in here? I'm just trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Did you get a sandwich yet? Well, you know, I love coming to Atlanta because every time I come there, I always give me some serves. I can't live it down, man. My God. We we loved it. We loved you on Martin. Although it was a small role, it made the biggest impression. How did you get that? That that. You know, it's funny. It was just another audition. And um, I've, I've done so many things before Martin and so many after Martin. I mm -hmm. only did 12 episodes of Martin. That was I it? I did like four years on Bernie, ER, NCIS, uh, Carolina in the City, Parker, so many other things. But that character just stuck. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It was very fun. Yeah, yeah it, it really well, is. Yeah, you know. We recently had Tashina Arno here down to the circle. Oh, yeah, it's my yeah, girl. She's so funny. <laughs> I love that so girl, funny. boy. That girl, yeah. <laughs> she's very funny. All right, now. So, I like okay. You, she wore them short shorts she wore. You know what? She got them black booty cheeks right away. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tashina, that black booty cheeks. Tashina, we like you. We got you. Black booty cheeks and stretch marks. Oh, I love that. Oh, that yeah. tiger stripe. Wow. I don't know. I love it. <laughs> That's a roadmap to a woman heart. Oh, Lord <laughs> Jesus. My God. Well, uh, speaking to the roadmap, down to the uh, Martin show, um, we see a lot of reality television, mm -hmm. you know, unscripted mm -hmm. material. And, and because you came from such a prominent, yes. um, legendary scripted show, um, can you kind of tell us the difference that you think that it is between the scripted world and, well, small TV and, well, small screen and, you know, well, uh, reality you know, television. to me, I, I majored in theater in, mm -hmm. in college. So mm -hmm. um, to me, when you're doing it um, <laughs> as a living for as, you know, theater or uh, uh, television or film, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's a craft, it's an art. Mm -hmm. right. You know, but when you, the, the reality stuff is, is that you're just winging it. You know, I, I can go I can go to somebody's house and, and, and meet them for the first time, and I'm, I'm being entertained just looking at them. You know how dirty their house is. Oh, why the hell is that? I'm just, I'm just oh, serious. But it's I'm entertaining like, it's, it's all no, in the yeah, same. It's just an entertaining yes. thing, but it's, it's, it's no craft, no art to it. You mm. know, I, I I prefer to go see. I love live theater. I went to see The Temptations uh, play um, Ain't Too Proud. Yeah. You got to see that, man. Yeah. I met. Now I'm, I'm gonna tell you when I first realized, after all these years that I that I, you know, I'm, I made it in in this this game a little bit uh -huh. is when I I was last week I was on the plane. And um, I heard a voice say, hey, bro, man, it's Otis Williams from The Temptations. What? That's the original, the last dude, and he knew who I was. And wow. that was like, yeah. that was big to <laughs> yeah. me. I'm like, yeah. I was like, I see, I know I'm known don't take pictures with uh, celebrities, but I have to get one. Oh, of course. Yes. <laughs> That's Otis. Yeah. Are you oh, kidding goodness. me? Exactly. Does, so. it, does it ever get old when people see you? Bro, man, bro, man, bro, no, man. No, I'm no, Reginald. No, do, I love do you it. ever? I love it. I love it. I, I mean, it's not, been, it's not like being called Urkel. So. <laughs> you know what? You sure know what to say when you yeah. say that. Yeah, exactly. About that. So now, I love it. I love now it. Now you're you're married with two children. Yep, married 31 years. Ooh, How long yeah. you been together? How long you? you I've been married for 13 years. 13, yes. you married? I'm in the process of getting a divorce. Oh, is that oh, right? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, but see, you know, I thir 31 years. See, 13 years. You you probably you and your husband probably still make love face to face. Face yes, yes. Oh, but the lights wife, be off. But thirty-one years, we we make love in separate rooms. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, when you finish, text me. <laughs> oh my God, stop it! Stop it! Well, so now you are a stand-up comic, though. Yeah, yeah. What has yeah. been that transition been like? I mean, were you a stand-up com stand comic yeah. before, or is this your first time? Because I mean, you're standing up right now. Yeah, I, down well, to the I, I, started, I started up as an actor, and um, um, I'm an actor acting like a comic. I, I can, mm. I can act like a comic for about 45 to an hour. I, I can, 
make you laugh, and after that, you better come get me because I get discovered. So. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> so did, is it something that you always wanted to do? Was to be a comedian, or did well, someone no, say you know you've always been funny, you should do it? I always wanted to be an actor, and um, you know after the Martin thing, I was like, well, I don't want to take that you know that normal acting job uh, as a waiter. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I said, well, let me get on the stage and 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 act like a Def Jam comic. Right. So that's what I do. Mm. <laughs> that's how I get it. Well, we're excited to have had you down to the circle. Yes. Uh, I'm glad and you're now on a comic here. tour, a comedy tour. Yeah. And you yeah. can uh, catch him in the Atlanta area. Uh, you can catch him at the Atlanta Comedy Theater yes. all week long.